Hello friends, this is Worm, or perhaps it's not, and today I wanted to take a breather from our regular scheduled angry rant con uh, content. And I want to talk about some of the reasons why I personally still play Destiny. Because obviously, you know, we, we love to rant and complain and stuff over here on the channel and lots of other content creators and people in general do it. But we still play the game. We still come back day after day to enjoy Destiny. And so I wanted to make this video today to talk about why I come back and I continuously play Destiny. Because I, like, I do love the game as, as you know much as it may seem i don't based on all the 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 whiny content blah 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 the complaining or whatever that we do or ranting or criticizing i do love destiny and there are a couple of reasons here i didn't like drop a list or anything i'm just going to kind of go off the top of my head you know with with what my personal reasons why i still play destiny 2 is and i want to start off with the first and most important one and that is the fluidity of just the gameplay in general Okay, and it is one thing Destiny has going for it beyond anything else is the actual gunplay. Okay, because the gunplay feels so good. Like using weapons feels so good. Like it's it's on par with something like Call of Duty. Like I don't play Call of Duty often, but when I play Call of Duty first person shooter, I always feel very, very just comfortable when playing the game like it's not like i'm struggling to aim you know it's not like uh some other games where like you know maybe they weren't meant for controller you know and so when you play it on control it feels like there's awkward no aim assist whatever blah 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 but destiny has that fluidity that just feels so good to play but not only in terms of the like feeling of playing but just the the way that the game flows through the through the you know endlessly charging grenades melees class abilities supers unlimited primary ammo the way that heavy ammo special ammo and all that stuff drops you know to the to the actual content of you know do this task you know do kill this boss like yeah we can complain and and whine about oh like it's the same thing over and over but it does feel smooth it feels very very fluid i, I don't think there's ever been a time in destiny where the gameplay itself did not feel just fluid and that is huge for a game that is that is one of the things i always look for in a game because if a game doesn't feel fluid i'm not going to continue to play it okay and we can't discredit that even though it's almost a given at this point like oh yeah like destiny like blah 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 but if you take a step back and you look at the work that was put into destiny to make it feel as smooth as it does you gotta admit they did a good job you know, they could have they could have done some, you know, Bethesda first person mess where it feels really, really awkward. You know, there's not a whole lot of aim assistance. The the sensitivities are wonky. You know, the the everything just feels awkward. But no, it feels so smooth. It feels so good. And I love it. Not only that, a little side note here, but also I never, ever get any framing issue, like frame issues. You know, like I'm constantly playing at um you know probably like 80 90 fps you know in some instances i'm even higher than that but it never really drops to low fps never never below 60 never ever below 60 and so that's that's just a good feeling you know but in terms of the things that keep me going uh you know gunplay is also a major major part of it the weapons and the the combat whether it's in pve whether it's in pvp like no matter where it is it all feels again so fluid you know um aiming down sights feels good you know on on every weapon you know the 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 perfect amount of target acquisition so it's not giving it to you for free but it's also not it's not a feels bad to shoot it you know the the combat routine you know the 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 getting into combat especially in the crucible you know getting into combat with other guardians like it's a it's a place where you can really show off your skill you know it's not something like call of duty you know call of duty is anybody can be good at it Right, like I can get into a game of COD and you know drop a you know three plus KD and twenty seven to thirty kills, blah blah blah. Like I, I anybody can do that because the time to kill and stuff is so fast in COD. But in Destiny, it's a whole different story. It's slower time to kills, and yeah, we have like defined metas and stuff like that, which are kind of obnoxious at times. But Bungie's you know tweaking things every season to make them better and to make them not feel quite so bad, right? And so the gunplay just feels so smooth and, and, and the gun fights, like I said, especially the crucible, like it feels good to win a gunfight in the crucible. It feels rewarding, you know, and then 
you, you go on from there. You get a kill, you know, and depending on how you want to build into your character, you can jump from kill to kill to kill. You know, they got things like like kill clip, for example, you know, that, that you know, has that kill chaining potential. Or you have, you know, kills that, or, or perks that, you know, reset things. You know, like I, I use Rat King on my Hunter a lot. You know, it resets after every gunfight. You know, I, I get the health, you know, I don't get damage boost, but I get health, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, there's there's consistency perks there are lethality perks like there's a whole host of perks that just fit whatever whatever you want you know demolitionist gives you grenade energy pugilist gives you melee energy for kills you know it's you can build into the neutral game you can build into your consistency game you can build into your lethality game like you can build into so many different things and and that's not even including the the actual like build crafting of classes you know which no destiny is not the best you know build best game to to build into you know like there are games like like uh, elder scrolls for example uh you know i think uh, diablo 4 one of the more recent ones like the build crafting in those games is much much more i don't want to say it's better necessarily but it's it's more in depth but destiny has that that build crafting to it and they have gotten better bungie has has made it better over time where the build crafting does feel really good. It feels really rewarding because you can build into, you know, oh, I want to be a heavy damage dealer. Oh, I want to be, you know, uh, Mr. Ad clear, you know, Hey, I want to be, I want to be a healer, you know, which I know that we need more, we need more support classes like solar warlock, but eh, neither here nor there, but the, the build crafting it's, it's there. It feels good. And I like the build crafting. I like constantly trying new builds. You know, I see people's comments on my videos talking about, Oh, I use this build. So I go in and I try it and I'm like, Hey, you know what? I actually kind of like it, you know, or, or I get in there and I'm like, Hey, you know what? This isn't for me, but I'm going to tweak it just a little bit. You know, instead of using this weapon, I'm going to use this weapon, you know, and change little things about it. And there's just, it's ever changing. You can, there are probably I would almost go as far as to say there are millions of different combos between weapons, between aspects, fragments, grenades, you know, melee abilities, supers. Like there are tens of thousands of different combinations that you can use. You know, you want to try a double shotgun build, go for it. You want to try a triple shotgun build, go for it. You know, do you want to use, uh, you know, a sniper rifle and a sidearm, you know, where your sniper is your primary, so to speak, and your, your, um, your sidearm is your, your backup weapon. You can do it. You know, if you want to be, like I said, you know, Mr. Adclear, you know, you can put on Arc Warlock or, you know, maybe, maybe you don't want to do Arc Warlock. Maybe you want to do, you know, Solar Titan, you know, there's so many options that you can choose from and build into. And it's just, it's a lot of fun because every single day, like there is new stuff coming out you know, or not new stuff coming out, but new, new weapons being obtained, new builds being made. Like if I get bored of, you know, I'm bored of solar Titan, for example, back in season of the haunted, when, when solar 3.0 first came out, I got bored of solar Titan very, very quickly. I had a whole host of other options to go with. And I did, I went with, you know, all different builds, test out a lot of different things. I'm still testing builds to this day. You know, one of my, one of my current, uh, favorite builds you're actually watching in the background is, is point contact, uh, Cannon Brace, I think is the name of it, and Monte Carlo. It's so much fun. You know, the amount of shocking and ad clear and, and DPS that you can deal is really, really fun. But eventually I'll get bored of this. When I get bored of this, I'll move on to something else. You know, maybe, maybe it's something on Hunter. Maybe it's something on Warlock. Maybe it's something on Titan, you know, and it's it's tweaking this build a little bit. Maybe, maybe I use a different exotic armor, a different weapon. Like, there's so many options. And I really, I cannot stress, like, how fantastic it is that we have all these options to choose from. And unlike many other, uh, you know, build crafting games, there is no like downside to switching up your builds. You know, like I, I know, um, what is it? Uh, Elder Scrolls Online, for example. You know, if you build a spec into a certain way, it's very difficult to go back and change that. You know, you can't just like, oh, like I spec'd into a, a Staminite build uh, or something like that. Like you can't go, oh, I want to go back and go into like necromancy. Like, you know, it's very difficult to do that. You have to make a whole new character. In Destiny, no, it's plug and play. You know, oh, I want to try out this. I saw this this cool video on this build. Do I have it? Yeah, I've got it. I've got the weapon. I've got the armor. If you don't have the exotic weapon, the, uh, the, the armor piece, the exotic armor piece, it's very easy to go out and get them. You know, you look up how to get it. Like, hey, how do I get a collective uh, obligation? Okay, go do Vow to the Disciple. Okay, I'm going to do Vow to the Disciple every week until I get it. You know, or on the week that you can grind, I'm going to grind until I get it so I can try out this build. So build crafting is a huge, huge thing. Um, but other things that keep me engaged, because we've talked about build crafting for a long time now, other things that do keep me engaged in the game is just, uh, 
I don't know the I would say overall the the aesthetic of the game you know like I mean the European aerial zone is back European aerial zone is absolutely fantastic it's a beautiful location everywhere in destiny is beautiful it's everywhere in destiny is is very very attractive it looks also good the art team did a fantastic job you know with the the decrepit buildings that you're seeing in the background here uh the enemies they look good the weapons they look phenomenal like the aesthetic of the game is so very very good and i cannot i will never be able to get over how good the aesthetic is and i know there's something like what you know i've seen more realistic like i'm not looking for realistic i'm looking for attractive like it destiny is realistic to a degree but it's also got that element of of fantasy that you want in games you know and and the aesthetic is just oh it's so good uh but of course you know we could talk again all day about aesthetic but i kind of want to move on to the next one here and that of course is the the level of character customization now i know this is not going to be as high up on other people's list here but i love character customization okay i i like any type of like sandbox i don't want to say sandbox but you know game where you games where you can customize something aesthetically to the way that you like it i i love it okay things like you know like like destiny you can customize your guardian exactly how you want it you know you can put on a variety of different shaders that give you different colors with different armor pieces exotics blah 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 customization is so much fun in destiny i, I literally have gotten to a point in destiny where i change my fashion like once a day you know, I get on, I'm thinking, hmm, like I see it, you know, I use, okay, I'm going to use collective action or collective obligation. Sorry. Let's see here. What would go good with collective obligation? What would look good aesthetically with it? You know, build it together. I like it, but not enough, not as much as I thought I would. So let's change it up. Like changing fashion is so, so fun in destiny for me. Again, this is, I guess a bonus one. Cause I know not everybody's going to agree with this. Not everybody cares that much, but destiny has a level of customization that feels unparalleled you know, to a majority of other games, you know? And then of course the, the first person aspect of it, like you can really see other guardians fits, you know? So I know if I can see other people's drip, so to speak, I know they can see mine and I know that, you know, maybe they like it, maybe they don't like everybody's got their own opinion, but it, it's, it's such a good feeling to be able to customize your character to the degree that you do. Uh, but yeah, that, that's just a bonus one. That's one of the reasons why I love destiny. Um, destiny as i'll call it from now on <laughs> but yeah those are some of the reasons why i still play destiny uh, I, I think the main thing is the the gunplay and the fluidity of of build crafting like those two go hand in hand like that's why i continue to play all the time because it is so fun like i don't get tired of it even even when we complain about it and whine about it and criticize it it feels so good to play and I love it. So yeah, those are my reasons. But of course, I want to know your reasons. Why do you like Destiny? Why do you still play Destiny? Uh, if you do, if you don't, why did you stop playing Destiny? Because I want to hear those too. Because um, I know a lot of you have stopped playing Destiny. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. It helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe for more daily Destiny conversations and content and stuff like that. And do me a favor. Watch the video you see on the end screen because for whatever reason, YouTube thinks you will like it. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.